Welcome to the MyWifeQuitHerJob.com YouTube channel. Now today what I'm going to go over is the fastest and easiest way to set up an online store using a fully hosted platform. Okay, so what is this tutorial about? Uh, this tutorial is going to cover the following. Basically how to create and own your own online e-commerce store from scratch without needing to know anything about computers and using a fully hosted platform where you're never going to have to worry about your site going down ever. You're never going to have to worry about any sort of server related issues. And you'll have a very feature rich shopping cart with which to sell your goods almost immediately. Okay, so in a previous video, you might have recalled that I showed you how to set up and own your show own shopping cart using various open source shopping cart methods. Now, in general, I always usually advocate going with a free open source shopping cart because, you know, when you when you use an open source shopping cart and you own the source code, you're basically in control of your own destiny. You have full control over the source code so you can make any sort of modifications that you want to your shopping cart. And because you own everything, no one can really ever raise prices suddenly on you. However, in some cases, going with a fully hosted shopping cart might make sense for certain people, and I'm going to go over a little bit in the next couple of slides about who this subset of people are. Okay, so first of all, you know, some people are completely tech averse. They can barely turn on their computer, let alone surf the web. Uh, some people never want to deal with anything technical whatsoever with their website or their shopping cart. Um, some people just want everything to be completely done for them and just focus on the selling aspects of an online store. And, you know, some people, quite frankly, also are terrified about getting hacked and having their server go down because if that happens, they'll have no idea what to do. And and then there's some people who, who just want support. Um, by signing up for a fully hosted platform, there's usually help standing by at all times. Okay, and that's something you won't get with an open source shopping cart. Okay, so what are some of the advantages of going with a fully hosted uh, solution as opposed to an open source shopping cart? Uh, when you go with a fully hosted solution, you know, everything is set up for you. You never really have to deal with anything server related. Um, you get an online store up and running literally with just a few clicks of your mouse and you always have someone to call in case you screw something up or whether you know your website's down or something is wrong you always have someone to call okay and so you know when when you're trying to make the decision between going with a fully hosted solution uh, versus an open source solution in general if you don't want to deal with any of the computer aspects of selling with an online store then I highly recommend going with a fully hosted solution okay so if the personality traits that I just talked about sounds like yourself you know then a fully hosted platform makes sense but um, unfortunately there's a whole bunch of different fully hosted e-commerce platforms out there and unfortunately they're not all created equal so when you're shopping for a fully hosted platform you want to make sure that you find one that does not charge a percentage of your sales. Uh, you want a fully hosted platform that does not make you sign a long-term contract. Uh, you want one that, that doesn't charge you for bandwidth overage charges. Uh, some hosts appear really cheap, but when you actually start launching your store, you're noticing that you'll notice that you're getting charged a whole bunch of these extra bandwidth charges that really add up over time. Uh, you want to make sure that the shopping cart is fully featured and very professional. There are certain platforms out there that are really cheap and they brag that there's a really easy to use interface where you can start selling right away. But as your shop matures, you'll, you'll find that a lot of these cheaper carts lack some key features um, that are required as your store gets larger. Okay. You also want a fully hosted platform that supports some of the most popular credit card payment gateways. And of course, you want to find one that offers excellent support and uptimes. And in general, this, this last part about support and uptimes, it's really hard to tell until you sign up for a platform. But the best way to determine whether a fully hosted platform is reliable or not is to simply go on their forums and see what other people are saying about the platform, you know, actual customers talking about the service. Okay. So out of all the fully hosted platforms that I've evaluated, and I've evaluated almost all of them, I think, I personally recommend BigCommerce because it actually meets all the characteristics that I just talked about. Uh, it's easy to use, 
And there's actually this really nice drag and drop interface with lots of free templates that you can use to set up your online store. And what really sets Big Commerce apart from some of the others is that it's actually a fully featured e-commerce platform. So um, the shopping cart has a ton of features. It's already optimized for mobile phones. Um, if you've read some of my previous articles, you may have heard that you know mobile is exploding, especially e-commerce on mobile. And so it's really nice that Big Commerce has a mobile platform ready to go. It's got built-in email marketing integration. It's search engine optimized. And there's a whole bunch of elaborate promotion and coupon related features, uh, which are very powerful. And so instead of just telling you about these things today, I thought I'd just show you uh, how easy it is to start an online store. And, uh, you know, the lowest tier of Big Commerce costs only $25, which is very reasonable. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up my web browser now and kind of walk you through the process. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start this tutorial on my blog, which is located at mywifequitherjob.com. Okay, so if you scroll down, you'll see these uh, six boxes here. And the one I want you to click on is this one that's called Big Commerce, because that's the platform I'm going to show you how to use today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take me to the Big Commerce website where I can start a free trial. Now, what's really nice about this free trial is that it doesn't require a credit card. So really, there's no obligation whatsoever. Okay, so um, it's going to ask you for your store name. And if you have no idea what your store name is, uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just enter in anything. Okay, so I'm just going to call uh, this store um, Steve's Groceries. And my email address, I'm going to enter in here. And then I'm going to just enter a password in. Okay, and I'm going to click on Start Your Own Free Trial Today. Okay, and it's just going to ask you a couple questions. It doesn't really matter at this point, but I'm just going to put in, um, you know, my name and then a phone number. So. Okay, and level of experience, this doesn't really matter, but uh, I think it, it determines what level of support you're gonna get. So if you're really new, I would just say new to e-commerce. And then you just click on create my store. Okay, and at this point you just wait, um, you know, around one to two minutes, and it's actually setting up your store and setting up an account for you. And what's really nice about Big Commerce is immediately after you set up your account, someone actually will give you a phone call and actually talk to you about your account ask you what you're trying to do and you know really get help you get started okay so not only do they call you uh, as soon as you log into your interface what's really nice is is that they'll actually have a whole bunch of videos waiting for you uh, that kind of walk you through step by step and hold your hand through the whole startup process okay so now we're just going to kind of wait a little bit until the store is set up Okay, so my store is ready, and I should have received an email with all of my login information uh, at the email address that I used to sign up. Okay, so I'm just going to check my email real quick. Okay, so here are my login details. Okay, so I'm going to go into my back end first, and the username is going to be admin and then the password that I signed up with. So I'm just going to open two windows so we can see what's going on here. So I'm going to open this window, and I'm going to open this window. Okay. So right off the bat, this is actually already what my store looks like. And this is just after just the basic setup. This is the default template. It's got some sample products already populated. And as you can already see, it's already a fully featured cart. And in fact, you could actually go with this template and just start selling right away with your own products. Okay. But I'm going to show you some of the more powerful design features that Big Commerce has. Okay. And that can, that all happens on the control panel. So I'm just going to log in here with the password that I used. And I'm just going to point you here to the store design features. Okay, so as you can see here, you know, there's a whole bunch of different templates that you can choose from right away. Um, depending on what you're going to sell, uh, chances are you'll find a template here, a good looking template at that, that will uh, pretty much take you 80 to 90% of the way there. 
towards your final online store. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this template. Since uh, the store I decided to make was called Steve's Groceries, so I'm going to apply this template. Okay, and so now it's applying the template. And if I look at my store now, I'm just going to refresh here, it instantly applied the template um, you know, over to my store. And as you can already see, the overall look and feel of the store is already drastically different. Okay, so just wanted to show you some of the drag and drop uh, features of BigCommerce. So I'm going to go to design mode here. And I'm going to open my store in design mode. Okay, so as you can see here, what's really nice about BigCommerce is you can pretty much drag and drop different portions of your store. So if I want my top sellers in the left hand column, I'll just drag it over there. Uh, if I want my top sellers over here, I can drag it over here. I can move new products to the right and that sort of thing. So basically by simply just dragging and dropping different elements of the shopping cart, I can actually customize it that way without having to touch any code, which is really nice. Okay. And you know, basically in a nutshell, all this shop needs is a logo. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna uh, use you know Big Commerce's built-in logo generator here. So, um, so I'm just gonna click on here, create a new logo image for my store based on my design, and I'm just gonna call this Steve's Gro Organic Groceries here. I'm going to save logo image, and this is what you know the Big Commerce automated, automatically generated logo looks like. And I hit save, and if I hit refresh, this is what it came up with. Okay, so as you can see here, you know within just a couple of minutes, I already have a fully functioning shopping cart. Um, you know on the Big Commerce platform, it was very easy to do. And you can customize easily through drag and drop. You can just easily upload a logo, pick a good looking template, and you're pretty much ready to go. And in terms of setting all the other stuff up, such as SSL and credit card processing, there's a representative at Big Commerce that will walk you through the entire process. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Thanks.